Having been a top flight UK tuning company since 1984, Talk Developments International continues to provide successful engineering solutions to motorsport and professional car enthusiasts. My name's Sam Baldwin, and I have over 10,000 hours of real world experience here in the Dyno Cell. I'm going to give you a glimpse at how we work here on a day to day basis in the world of professional tuning. Welcome back, my name is Sam Borgman and with this video we're going to talk a little bit about suspension geometry, chassis dynamics and how tyres work. Behind me you see a white Subaru Impreza STI Spec C and it's wearing some, some suspension geometry targets which are part of a measurement machine. These targets work in a pretty unique way. It's covered in reflective dots each dot is known by the machine to be a very specific size in millimetres and round to within a very, very tight tolerance. In the infrared spectrum, these dots are monitored by charge couple devices up on the machine. But looking at these dots can count how many pixels they're currently taking up on the charge couple device or the digital camera. By cross-referencing how large the dot is known to be, against how many pixels it's currently taking up, it can see precisely how far each one of these dots is from the camera or the charge couple device. It then looks at whether the circle is being presented to the camera in a way that looks oval by perspective. It knows that each one is in fact very, very close to perfectly round. So it can look at the amount of ovality and gauge the angle of presentation of all of these dots. When it comes to measuring the chassis, what we do is ask the machine to first find all of the infrared targets that are currently bolted to the wheels on the car. The cameras seek up and down until they can see clearly each target. And the camera here on the right has another camera looking at a target on the camera on the left. So the cameras are looking at each other, they know where each other are in 3D space and then each camera knows where its two targets are in 3D space. Whilst the camera's watching intently, we then roll the vehicle back in front of the cameras so that the targets that are strapped to the wheels move backwards to 90 degrees. Once that's complete, we then roll them forward again, and the aim is to have the same movement backwards away from the cameras as we have back towards them. Once this measurement process is complete, and we've seen the same movement backwards as we got forwards, we can take some really interesting measurements from our data gathered by the machine. We'll know not only the axle width, front and rear, we'll know the corner-to-corner -corner measurements of our vehicle, our wheelbase length, left and right. All of that very, very interesting information to know whether the vehicle is set up in a square and straight way, whether the vehicle is potentially damaged or bent. We'll also know critical performance data for the suspension geometry. We'll know the camber of the wheels, whether the top of the wheel is leaning in towards the chassis with negative camber or leaning out away from the chassis with positive camber. We'll also know whether the toe of the vehicle, that is to say, whether the front of the tyre is leaning in towards the centre of the chassis with positive toe or pointing away from the centre of the chassis with negative toe. All critical information if we want to be able to present the tyres that the vehicle's wearing to the oncoming road at the right angles for their operation. We'll talk a little bit about how we might make decisions as to how to set up suspension geometry later on in the video, but before we do that, I just need to talk to you a little bit about how tyres actually work on the road surface to generate grip. Hi, and welcome back to the Dyno Cell here at Talk Developments. In our last video, we spoke a lot about our Dyno Cell's construction, the equipment that we have in here, and why we have it here in the cell. Today, as promised, we've hooked a car into the Dyno, and we're going to take a look at how we use the Dyno to tune this car. 